The big question in life is all of what will capture your heart and direct your life. That's the spiritual battle. There is a battle for all in all of our lives. I was last weekend watching the Canadian Open golf tournament. And it ended with this four-hole playoff between two players that was very exciting. And the very last thing that happened was one of the players was very close. His ball was very close to the, the hole. And the other player was facing a 72-foot long putt. And in a single stroke, he hit that ball, and that ball traveled 72 yards and went right into the cup, and he won the tournament. Twitter lit up. Now, I am crazy enough at that moment to have thought of Psalm 29. Because what Psalm... 29, the background of Psalm 29 is this, that God has hired, hardwired us for all. We love awesome things. We love when a tournament ends with something just unimaginable. We love the seven-layer chocolate cake. We love a dramatic piece of music or a tremendous movie or a great novel we love the sizzle of a big steak. We love a beautiful sunset. We love the kiss of a human being on our cheek. We, we are hardwired for awe. And the big, the big question in life is all of what will capture your heart and direct your life. That's the spiritual battle. There is a battle for all in all of our lives. And, and Psalm 29 is about that. this. Ascribe to the Lord, O heavenly beings. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due his name. Worship the Lord in the spin, splendor of holiness. The voice of the Lord is over the waters. The God of glory thunders the Lord over many waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedars. The Lord breaks the cedars of Lebanon. He makes Lebanon skip like a calf and Syrian like a wild ox. The voice of the Lord flashes forth flames of fire. The voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord makes the deer give birth and strips the forest bare. And in his temple all cry, glory, the Lord sits enthroned th above the flood. The Lord sits enthroned as king forever. May the Lord give strength to his people. May the Lord bless his people with peace. It's just like the psalmist is saying, you want to be in awe of something, be in awe of this. And he just does this rant of the power and the glory of God. What captures the awe of your heart? What gets you excited? What motivates your living? Ascribing to God the glory that is due his name is not just something you do with your mind, but do with the way that you live your life. Uh, do you look for opportunities to point to the glory of God? Do you seek to live in a way that reflects his glory? Or do you live as a glory thief, trying to take glory to yourself? God is glorious in strength, power, and authority. He's glorious in holiness all the time in every way. And he's glorious in grace pouring out his strength into his people and giving them peace. My prayer for myself and my prayer for you is that my life would be shaped 
my heart would be ruled by a deep, abiding, unshakable awe of God. That awe of God would capture me and make me live for something way, way bigger than myself.